Until this point, the biggest engines the Southern had to offer were Maunsell's Lord Nelson's and King Arthur's. Both classes served their time well, but the Nelson's never really proved that successful in service. And the Arthur's, as good as they were, were starting to look a bit antiquated by this point. Bullitt's engines, on the other hand, were right up to date with modern refinements and capabilities. In terms of names, they seemed pretty obvious. All the merchant navies were named after... merchant navies. All but 44 of the light pacifics were named after West Country locations and villages. And the rest bore the names of World War II airfields, squadrons and bigwigs. And sometimes, leaking oil would get soaked up in the asbestos lagging between the boiler and the casing, causing some of these engines to... spontaneously combust. Clearly, a comprehensive rebuilding program was the order of the day. This was the result. <laughs> Amazingly, several of these engines have been preserved. And not surprisingly, they can still put in a good spectacle, if they're treated right.